Imagine a ship so massive it can literally swallow an entire military destroyer, lift a 60,000 ton oil platform, or transport multiple vessels stacked on top of each other like toy blocks. This isn't science fiction. This is the incredible reality of the MV Blue Marlin, one of the most amazing ships in the world. Built in April 2000 at a Dutch shipyard, the Blue Marlin is a semi-submersible heavy lift vessel that stretches 224 meters long and 63 meters wide. With a mind-blowing cargo capacity of 76,000 tons, this maritime giant houses 38 cabins for its 60-person crew, complete with a gym, sauna, swimming pool, and even a pirate-proof citadel for protection. But how does this engineering marvel actually work? The concept is brilliantly simple, yet absolutely genius. The Blue Marlin can submerge so deep that its deck goes below the waterline. Then it positions itself under the cargo, whether that's another ship or a massive platform, and begins to rise. The result? The cargo ends up sitting on Blue Marlin's deck, ready to be transported anywhere in the world. It's like watching a whale swallow Jonah, but in reverse. The Blue Marlin's first major claim to fame came in 2001, when it transported the damaged USS Cole. This American destroyer had been severely damaged in an Al-Qaeda terrorist attack in Yemen's port of Aden. The US Navy hired the Blue Marlin to bring their ship home. Imagine that, one ship carrying another ship across an entire ocean. In 2003, the Blue Marlin underwent serious upgrades that boosted its cargo capacity and added two retractable thrusters for better maneuverability. The following year, it accomplished one of its most impressive feats, transporting BP's Thunder Horse oil platform, weighing 60,000 tons, to Corpus Christi in Texas. This platform was so enormous that it looked like the Blue Marlin was carrying an entire city on its back. July 2005 brought another incredible operation when the Blue Marlin transported an entire gas processing plant, the Snovit facility, from a construction site in Cadiz, Spain, to Hammerfest, Norway. The 11-day journey was filmed for Discovery Channel's Extreme Engineering Show. Picture this, an entire factory floating across the sea on a ship's back. But the Blue Marlin's most epic journey happened in November 2005. It had to transport a massive sea-based X-band radar from Corpus Christi, Texas to Adak, Alaska. The route took them around the southern tip of South America and through Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. The vessel covered an incredible 15,000 miles, arriving at Pearl Harbor on January 9, 2006. Talk about an epic journey across three oceans. In January 2007, the Blue Marlin showed off its versatility by simultaneously carrying two self-elevating drilling rigs, the Rowan Gorilla 6 and Global Santa Fe Galaxy 2, from Halifax, Canada to the North Sea. But perhaps the most unusual cargo was a stack of river vessels, multiple ships layered on top of each other, creating the surreal sight of a ship carrying a ship carrying a ship. Over its quarter century of service, the Blue Marlin has visited virtually every corner of the globe. It has crossed the Atlantic countless times, making runs between Norway and the United States, delivering cargo from Spain to Norway and from Canada to the North Sea. In the Pacific, it has made treacherous journeys from the U.S. to Alaska around the dangerous Cape Horn, with stops in Hawaii and operations throughout the Asia-Pacific region. But the Blue Marlin's journey hasn't always been smooth sailing. Rounding Cape Horn in stormy weather became a true test of endurance. Working in high seas during loading and unloading operations required exceptional skill from the crew. Navigating Arctic waters when delivering cargo to Alaska created additional challenges. Technical problems didn't spare this giant either. Complex ballasting when carrying asymmetrical cargo required precise stability calculations. Maneuvering through narrow straits with tens of thousands of tons of cargo on deck was truly an art form. And the threat of piracy forced the installation of a protected citadel and route planning to avoid dangerous waters off the Somali coast. Originally, the Blue Marlin and its sister, ship MV Black Marlin, 
belonged to Norwegian company Offshore Heavy Transport from Oslo. In July 2001, both vessels were sold to Dutch company Dockwise Shipping, which operates them to this day. Today, the Blue Marlin is equipped with the most advanced navigation systems, dynamic positioning, and safety equipment. While the maritime industry continues to produce new vessels with even greater cargo capacity, the Blue Marlin remains one of the most reliable and versatile ships for transporting super heavy cargo. Over its quarter century of service, this giant has traveled hundreds of thousands of miles, transported thousands of tons of cargo, and proven that in the world of maritime transport, nothing is impossible. The Blue Marlin isn't just a ship, it's an engineering wonder a symbol of human ingenuity and our determination to conquer the oceans. It solves problems that seemed impossible and continues to amaze the world with its capabilities.